Northwest Bus Sales. Good afternoon everyone, my name is Jack and I'm at Northwest Bus Sales. Today I'm going to be showing you a 2010 Ford Federal. Now this is a uh, 19 passenger shuttle bus, 20 if you include the co-pilot seat, and it does have a rear luggage area, and I'm excited to show it to you. Let's check it out. All right, so this is on the Ford E450 chassis. This is powered by the Ford Triton 6.8 liter V10 gasoline engine. Of course, a company with a automatic transmission. This is, uh, this is one of uh, Ford's better engines out there, 6.8 V10. Yeah, we even have them in some of the new shuttle buses on our yard right now. Great engine, very reliable, been around for quite a long time. Uh, up front here, we got your front passenger side tire there. Tires are looking good. And uh, you'll see that all the wheels do have the stainless steel wheel covers on them. Give them a little more shine to them. So uh, this is what's called a dual door chassis. So a lot of times you'll see that the, uh, the bus door is kind of like over here and you have a little window right here. And there's actually not a co-pilot door. So on the Federals here, you will always have a co-pilot seat. It's actually locked, so we'll show you when we get inside. But uh, it does have a co-pilot seat and a, a co-pilot door here as well. So that's one cool feature about this vehicle. Uh, coming on inside, we have an electric operated bifold passenger entry door. We have a gray flooring, white step nosing coming on in and some uh, lights to illuminate the uh, step well there. Uh, one cool thing about this bus here. So the, uh, the electrical panel is actually in uh, right here. So, which is a pretty cool feature. So you got the electrical panel there and kind of the significance of that is when it's up here in the bulkhead and your mechanic's working on it, they gotta go back and forth and get their tools. I mean, I've seen our mechanics do it when they're working on the electrical panel right here, they got their cart right next to the door here, they can grab tools and it just makes it a heck of a lot easier to, uh, to get uh, inside and out of this thing. Uh, coming on inside, uh, we do have your, uh, the, the cockpit area here. <laughs> Um, another cool thing about the uh, the dual door chassis is, is that they do have uh, powered locks and powered windows. So you got powered windows on both sides and powered locks, which is not standard on a single door chassis, or they call a door delete chassis. Uh, 72,000 miles here. Chris behind the camera is going to show you that. 72,000. Uh, going from left to right here, we do have cruise control on the steering wheel. Over here we have a Ford factory AM FM CD stereo, aux input on the side there, 12 volt ports here, and then we do have uh, your driver climate controls, passenger climate controls up here, reading lights, interior lights, your uh, door control to open and close, got some reading lights here as well, and uh, Chris is going to show you the driver's seat upholstery. <laughs> No big rips, cuts, or tears. You know, it does have a little bit of wear on it, maybe a little bit of sun fading, but you know, there's no foam sticking out and no big tears, anything like that. Looks good. And he's also going to show you the co pilot seat upholstery as well. All right, so uh, coming on to the back here, there's a few things that make a federal a federal. This thing's pretty dang cool. One, I want to point out the windows. These are probably the biggest dang windows you can get in a, uh, in a shuttle bus. So uh, if you're, you know, looking for tour and charter or, you know, basically hauling anyone that may want to look out the windows, these are pretty dang big. So it's a pretty cool feature of these things. Uh, another thing that I really like about this is these luggage racks are about the sturdiest luggage racks you can find in a shuttle bus. These things seem almost overly built and overly solid. These things are like hurricane proof here. Awesome, awesome luggage racks. Uh, in the back here, we do have 19 seats in the rear. 20 is the co-pilot seat plus the driver. These are Friedman Featherweight high back seats. They are equipped with recliners as well. So you can uh, recline the seat back if you'd like. And they also have aisle side armrests. Uh, seat covers look great from first glance. No big rips, cuts, tears, things like that. There's no foam sticking out, they look good. And uh, underneath the, uh, the uh, seats, we do have reading lights as well. And one really cool feature they did was they put the dome lights on the luggage racks. You know this is a small feature, but a lot of times if people are throwing bags like underneath here, you know, a lot of times the dome lights are in these transition panels. So when the, someone throws their backpack in front of the dome light, then it's 
kind of useless. So uh, Federal did put the dome lights on the outside of the luggage racks when people put their purses, backpacks, bags. It's not covering the light. So pretty cool feature there, something that most people don't notice. Uh, on the sides here, we got, uh, we got your uh, carpet on the walls there. And then uh, up here, just your normal uh, plastic there. And uh, uh, yeah, and then yeah, one other thing I wanted to point out, thank you Chris, we do have side sliders on this. You can actually slide these back and forth here to, to make some more room for your, uh, for your passengers. Um, and yeah, let's uh, check out the outside. All right, we're gonna give you another look at these windows here. Three big windows going down the side. Kind of minimizes the, uh, the uh, blockage here so people get a nice, you know, nice crisp clear view of what's going on uh, on the skirt we do have a uh, we have a gray skirt um, and a lot of times you'll see uh, you know if the bus has been banged up the skirts seem to be banged up the first these things aren't dented they're not all wavy and uh, you know all banged up on the sides uh, coming around the back we got L, uh, LED lights on the rear and then uh, in the rear luggage area um, this is one of the coolest features about this bus so this is an adjustable rear luggage wall so you'll notice that we actually have a reading light on the back here on both of those. That means that if you need luggage space, you, you can put this wall in and everything's good to go, you got luggage space. If you need more people and less luggage space, you can take this wall all the way back and actually add some seats there. And they even got reading lights in the back. The overhead luggage racks go all the way back. So it's a very versatile floor plan, allows you to kind of do one or the other. So it's pretty cool. Um, all right, uh, come around the side. A lot of times, most damage you're going to see on these vehicles is right here. We don't have a whole lot of action going on there. Chris, you can kind of give them a straight on look here. Federal's kind of signature uh, style here. You know, it's called a radial body. So the radius body goes up, gives it that kind of spaceship look design. A little more fancy, a little more executive as compared to the up, you know, straight up and down bread box design. So pretty cool job by Federal. Uh, another great look at the windows here, four huge windows. Um, these things look awesome and we do have the blackout window paint. Basically just a nice black square around the windows to give it kind of a seamless look. Again, it's all cosmetic, but it just makes it kind of shine a little bit more. Um, Chris is gonna give you a nice pan of the undercarriage here, as well as the, uh, as well as the uh, tires, the rear driver's side tires. Show you what's going on under there. Awesome. And then a gray skirt on this side as well. Underneath this grate here are your AC mounted condensers. <laughs> and uh, come on into the driver area here. We do have a, a driver's side running board. It basically just allows for an extra step coming on into the bus to help out your driver if they need. <laughs> and last but not least, we have your front driver's side tire. Thank you for watching this Northwest Bus Sales exclusive video tour. If you like this bus or any other buses in our lot, you can call us at 1-800-231-7099. Visit us at nwbus.com or email us sales at nwbus.com. Thank you very much for watching.